Well, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Hey, today I'm gonna show you how you use the Jeep Gladiator's remote start. I actually just remembered I even had this the other day. Um, so I whipped out the key and I gave it a try and I thought, it's kind of interesting, better than a lot that I've seen out there. So we've got the Jeep sitting back there behind me and it is unlocked. Now remember that, that's important. And of course on your key fob, you'll notice right here, you have that two times with a circular arrow on there. That's what you're gonna use for the remote start. So let's uh, whip you guys around here. The Jeep's sitting there and oh, one more thing. Let me show you, it is unlocked. You can see. So let's say that you wanna start it. So you grab your remote and you just hit this twice. One, two. And there you go, you can see that indeed the Gladiator did start. So, pretty awesome. Now, let's say you want to get in and drive away, obviously, because, you know, hopefully that's why you started it. So you walk up here and you'll now notice that the door is locked. It locked automatically, even though it was unlocked, when I hit the key fob. So we have to unlock it like so, and then I'll just put the key back in my pocket. Go ahead and hop in. And you can see on the screen right there, it says remote start active, push start button. Now, you have to do that because if you try, you know, go ahead and put your foot on the brake down there. And if you try to shift into reverse, nothing happens, it's locked. It won't let you do that. So you have to go over here and you have to push the button and it is flashing, run, you can see there, but you have to push the button. So when I did that, that message went away on the screen and it's like the truck started. I mean, all the gauges flashed and everything. And then, go ahead and get rid of the brake, go ahead and shift into reverse, and we are able to move. You guys can see right there, frontwards, backwards, sideways, well, probably not sideways, uh, but you are able to go ahead and drive away now and then of course once you get where you want to be Just go ahead and do what you normally do, you know, just turn it off So anyway, that is how the remote start works in the Jeep one advantage it has I know with a lot of other trucks out there like the Tundra for example if you use the remote start when you open the door it shuts off automatically. So you have to restart it when you get in. Um, in the Jeep, as I showed you, you don't have to do that. You unlock the door, it does lock, and that's good for security. I mean, if you, you know, left your truck somewhere and didn't lock it for some reason, um, you wouldn't want it to be running, even though um, I believe you would have to have the key to go through the motions anyway. But you have to unlock it, get in, push the uh, push to start button with the key fob with you, and then it goes ahead and uh, and behaves as it normally would. So anyway, that's a pretty cool feature. I like the way that it works. Um, if you live in a cold climate or maybe a hot climate, um, obviously it would be of benefit to go ahead and get it started before you went out so that it was either cooled down or heated up before you leave. Pretty cool. Kudos to Jeep for doing it right, I think. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Let me know if you knew about this feature before. Maybe you wondered what that two times circular arrow was about on your key fob. Well, now you know. Also, if you wouldn't mind and you're interested, I have another channel called Rob Motive. All about my 2020 Toyota Tacoma. Check that out. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there and have a great day. Bye.